with Mo Carter. Hey, good evening, everyone. Mo Carter in the city of Florence, Alabama, continuing our coverage to the kickoff of the 2019 college football season with the UNA Lions. Now, from time and time again, we'll hear coaches talk about their excitement level is at an all-time high as they get ready for the upcoming season. But for the UNA Lions, you got to add another level to their excitement, primarily because they're getting ready for their first full season in the Big South Conference. Today, Coach Chris Willis and his staff getting the chance to see their football team on the field for the first time. The Lions still won't be able to play for a conference title this season. However, Coach Willis's team will still have a chance to show their worth against everybody because of the full slate. Because it was day one, Coach Willis says that his team is focusing on the basics. But I expect today to see the tempo probably the best we've ever seen. Almost like, you know, you've had them here the whole, pretty much the whole summer. You would expect today's camp to look like a team that's almost like a veteran group. Uh, just, you know, a lot less mistakes for day one. It shouldn't be a lot of that. And then, you know, just the fact that I want everybody to stay healthy, fly around, enjoy themselves. The UNA Lions return 11 starters on both sides of the ball. Eight of those are on offense, and that includes quarterback Christian Lopez. Last season, Lopez was thrown into the fire since he signed with the team only weeks before the 2018 season. Despite some nagging injuries, Lopez finished the year with 2,400 yards of total offense. And now that he has a year yeah. under his belt, the senior signal caller says that he is in a better space when it comes to leading the Lions offense. Well, I think I got a lot of the guys, like, trust now. Um, I was kind of thrown to the fire last year. I got sick a couple times, stuff like that. Um, so I was always playing catch up last year. I think this year, um, I'm excited for myself, but m more importantly, these young guys. We got a young offensive line. The receivers are only going to grow more and more. So I'm excited to see what everybody has in store.